Hello everyone, Tex-Mex here. Thank you for joining me for another gun comparison and shoot video. Today we're going to be comparing the SIG P226 and the CZ75 SP01. Once again, I'm comparing two uh, full-frame double-action uh, pistols, uh, all-metal construction, and uh, what makes these similar, the reason I'm comparing them in particular, is that they are both decocker models. And I'll show that right now as we do our safety check. Let's see here that there is nothing in the magazine and the chamber is completely clear. So assuming you had a live round inside the chamber, you could drop the hammer using this decocker and it drops the hammer safely. Same thing with the SP-01 Tactical. Let's see here, magazine is empty, nothing in the chamber. The decocker is right back here on the back of the frame and it drops, that, drops the hammer safely. So let's talk a little bit about the uh, 226 first. Uh, the P226 Sig Sauer came out in 1984. It was uh, designed for the U.S. Army pistol trials. And only Sig and Beretta, uh, the 92F, uh, successfully completed the whole trials. And I believe, as is usual, the reason the military went with the Beretta was that the Beretta was able to give them a better package um, uh, cost-wise. And uh, that being said, the Navy SEALs did adopt the 226. They um, adopted it uh, in a slightly different model. It has some coating on it that makes it slightly more rust resistant. And uh, that's called the MK25. Now this particular model is the Legion model. It's different than your standard SIG P226. It, it has an improved trigger. Uh, G10 grips uh, standard and it also has among other things these x-ray sights and the x-ray sights are great as you see here you have this really really large front green dot uh, and their night sights and they really really do great for target acquisition um, I, I I like the Legion model it, it, it I like the grips uh, they they're a little thinner than the standard grip so they fit better in my hand and and I like the uh, those night sights. Although I will say I I do appreciate the standard Sig sights, which is a bar dot style. As you can see here. I'll check that. Um, you see this bar in the back, dot in the front. Uh, if you're a person that has a lot of issues uh, shooting uh, left or right, if windage is your problem, bar dot sights are very very helpful. Uh, this is an older model. You can see it does not have the rail on it, which uh, I lamented the other day about pistols without rails and how pretty uh, and streamlined they look. Uh, rails are very practical and very useful. There's something to be said for them, but I, I do miss those days of, of sleeker designs. Uh, that being said, the uh, 226, the, the Legion model, it is a, a, a double action, although they do make a single action only version of this firearm. It does not come with a decocker, though it comes with a safety because it has more of a, obviously, a 1911 style system. So uh, you can uh, use it cocked and lock and have that safety in the back. Uh, this gun shoots great, fits great in my hand, uh, obviously has an improved trigger. And, and even the standard SIG trigger is, is, is very nice. And I will use that as my segue into the CZ SP-01. And this is based off the CZ-75, which is a very old model. It uh, was designed in 1975, and it's been in production ever since, in some variant or another. Uh, this SP-01 uh, uh, model came out uh, after the turn of the century. It was used in 2005 in an IPSC uh, match. And the tactical model has the decocker because the standard SP uh, has a safety as well. So the trigger is different on that one because it's safety. The decocker model is a little different. And I believe it's designed uh, for the military and police. And the SP, I believe, stands for special police or something. Uh, I'm not sure because this gun is made in the Czech Republic and I do not speak Czech. Um, like I stated earlier, it is heavier than the... Uh, SIG 226. Uh, this one is a steel frame instead of an aloe frame. So you're looking at about two and a half pounds. I like the grip more than the 226. Uh, something about CZ grips have always felt good in my hand. Uh, but the one complaint I have about the SP01 Tactical is the trigger. 
Uh, there are many ways to improve the trigger. There are companies out there that offer great packages for uh, improving CZ triggers. I haven't put many rounds through this. I've, I've put maybe a, a few hundred, uh, same for the Legion. So I, I'm going to wait until I put uh, many more rounds before I decide whether or not I may try to have this trigger improved. Uh, but let me show you right now what I'm talking about. Uh, and we'll check it one more time. Always can never be too safe. But if you see here in the trigger, I'll zoom up a bit. There's always the take up. So there's that first take up. But after that, if you notice, there's that creep. Now that's creep there and more creep and then it fires that's slowly been polishing itself out and i think as i fire it some more it probably will not be an issue um the firearm actually came with snap cap so i think they encourage you to fire it and dry fire it a bit to kind of smooth out the trigger so i'm going to wait and see if that happens uh but the you know it's it's a very popular pistol it's it's the spo1 tactical specifically isn't popular in matches but they have some design for it there's, there's the uh, cz shadow which looks very very similar or the shadow 2 um, i think for those models they took out the firing pin block which improved the trigger greatly and obviously it's got a lot of improvements for those uh, models that are specifically made for uh, competition and target shooting um, you know, there's really not much to complain about either of these pistols other than the trigger on this one. Uh, a lot of people will say that they don't like the fact that SIG has uh, such a big slide. You can see the large slide here that sits outside of the frame versus the uh, thinner slide over here that sits inside the frame. That can uh, change the muzzle flip when you're firing the pistol. Uh, the bore axis on the SIG is higher because of that frame. You can see the the height of the of the actual barrel down to where you're holding your hand is taller than uh, this the height of the barrel on the CZ uh, to the where you're holding your hand on the frame, um, and that has a lot to do with the fact that the CZs do have that that slide that sits inside the frame. Uh, I believe that's where Jericho got their design, and it works great on that uh, pistol, and I, I assume it will work very well in this one as well. So. Uh, we'll we'll do some slow motion cam with these when I take them out shooting so you can see them uh, from uh, from the side and, and judge for yourself if there's much difference in muzzle flip. I'll, I will try to hold both guns uh, with my same grip uh, so that I'm not favoring one over the other. Uh, but that's what we're going to do. We're going to take them to the range, put some rounds through them. I think I'll probably uh, shoot paper this time so we can see how well I group with either of these. Um, the the trigger might give me some issues with the with the CZ. Although I don't plan to sit there and um, do rapid firing, uh, I'm not proficient enough to try to rapid fire either of these pistols and 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 still get optimal grouping. So uh, we'll take some good shots and and see how well we group. So okay, everyone, shooting the uh, CZ SPO1. I'm not sure you can see this very well because I don't have my preview on. 10 rounds, we're at about 10 yards here. Okay, we're gonna do 10 more rounds. Gonna try to do it, uh, now we're at 15 yards. So now we're going to do the 226, 10 rounds, about 10 yards. <sighs> 10 rounds through the SIG 226 Legion at about 15 yards. I'm going to try to compensate for shooting right. I did not compensate and kept the same point of aim. 
Well, here are the results. The 226 and the SP01 Tactical. Uh, accuracy was better for me with the SP01, surprisingly enough. I've, I've shot the 226 a lot more. Well, and not this one in particular, but other models of the 226. And uh, I did pull a couple of shots. You see these two down here. If you take those out, you can see it's, it's quite a tight little group. So I may have had more precision uh, with the 226, but uh, I was hitting more on target with the SP01 tactical. Uh, you know, I talked about the creep in the trigger. Didn't really feel it when I'm out here shooting. So little by little, I think it's smoothing itself out. And I think in time, uh, the trigger will improve. And both of these very easy to shoot. Uh, obviously, they both have very long sight radiuses. And for those of you that don't know what sight radius is, it's the distance between your front and rear sight. And uh, the longer the sight radius is on any given firearm, the more precise you will be able to aim. So uh, longer barreled, well not longer barreled, but longer slides with uh, the sights further apart from each other are always going to be a little easier to shoot accurately at a longer distance. So let's um, get a little bit of slow motion shooting out of both of these guys and uh, then we'll try to uh, get some more uh, videos out here soon.